Why does China stand to fare the worst uh, uh, out of the major economies? I, th I think it's historical because um, when China was growing quite well, uh, you know, 5% plus, uh, a lot of corporates since the mid-2010s begin to gear up. So that has continued that momentum. Uh, and because of that, their leverage is pretty high. Now that uh, China uh, growth is slowing down, uh, they are taking a double hit. Uh, both from slowdown in growth and of course there's uh, price pressures coming up from overseas uh, because some of the components are being imported. So they're hitting twice and, and that's why uh, under the stress test they seem to perform the worst. So uh, getting hit twice uh, because of COVID now on the demand side as well and losing that ability Correct. to potentially grow themselves out of their debt problems. But uh, at the same time, I'm wondering, uh, you know, just before COVID, they had been going through probably three, maybe even four years of deleveraging and things were going well. And, uh, you know, uh, until the virus hit, of course, now that the government is going not quite all out, but uh, doing as much as it uh, can to support a cushion uh, slowing growth, including easing credit. Is that going to turn back the clock and unwind three, four years of deleveraging? That's still a bit unclear. This, this uh, problem of uh, both uh, business and consumer sentiment being down is being impacted, obviously, by the lockdowns. There's also the aftermath, the crackdown both on property and technology companies, as you know, uh, from over a year ago particularly in property, and we're beginning to see that even uh, affect some of the rural banks, for example, in terms of uh, loans made to property companies which are now turning sour. So there's a momentum in terms of the crackdown and the slowdown, and uh, can the government get the money out uh, to the people fast enough to cushion the slowdown? So that's an open question.